Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, I wanna wish you guys a very happy and healthy new year. It's gonna be 2020. I, I really can't believe it. Um, so much has happened in this last decade. So much has changed. This is really the first decade that I've been an adult too because uh, I'm 28 years old. Um, in 2010, I was 18 years old. So um, essentially this has been a very important decade in my life. Um, and probably the next decade is going to be even more so important. And a lot has changed in terms of technology and especially in terms of technology. And then how we've acted and reacted in, in the wake of that technology. And um, I think it's good to go back to our roots on certain things like, uh, like growing fruit trees, guys. I really do. Um, I sort of do wish I lived in a simpler time, even though there's so many benefits to living in this day and age that it's really hard to think the grass is, is greener on the other side. Um, I do really value, especially, the community of people that I've built around me. Um, I think it's really special what I've been able to achieve um, really in such a short time and you know these videos are they're good but they're you know they're not like I put uh, you know the utmost care and attention to detail into all of these yet I think I have a pretty decent following and uh, because of the channel I've made a number of friends that I wouldn't have had prior um, and that's, quite, that's sort of what my New Year's revolution, resolution is going to be, my New Year's revolution. Um, my resolution is sort of this every year for the last few years because it's becoming harder to stay in touch with friends um, because of technology. You know, I'm getting older, people are having kids, people are getting married, people are kind of going their separate ways. Um, and it's important to, I think, hold on to the good people in your life. Um, so what I'm doing personally is trying to build every year, build and expand and maintain the community of awesome people around me. Uh, whether that's you guys, my friends groups, um, my family, um, whatever it is, I would you know, this is just kind of like growing fruit in that we're trying to expand and <laughs> and maintain every year to get ourselves a good crop of fruits, right? And instead of fruits, it's it's uh, it's love in terms of your relationships. So I personally believe you guys should be of a similar mindset, but you know, everybody's got their own little thing. Uh, you can see the garlic's looking great. It's really the only thing that's green right now in the whole yard. Um, so to me, it looks great. Um, you can see underneath our failed, what is this thing called? Uh, kind of like a failed uh, hoop house. We've got ourselves some arugula and we've got down on the end some still some bok choy we can harvest throughout the winter. Um, this was kind of thrown together last minute, but I would really like to get this thing up and running next year in full gear so I could have really like carrots. Um, well, I don't even need this thing for carrots because I can kind of just grow carrots in the ground and leave them in the ground kind of all winter and when the ground thaws I can come out here and harvest um, anytime I want but I did want to mention a topic to you guys today uh, and that's sort of this mulch that we have 
finally removed from a pile that we had right on the other side of this fence where the our trash cans are we've had a giant mulch pile and what we did originally is we created two mushroom piles two mushroom uh, patches I should say one over here where the persimmons and the figs are underneath the pretty much underneath these persimmon trees here you can see we've piled up the mulch even further. I've had to uh, kind of spread out the mulch any which way I could to get rid of that pile. But this is really just a great time in general. We got a helicopter coming in, guys. Excuse that noise. But this is really a great time in general to get down mulch anyway. And at least in this section here, you guys can see, here's my marionberry plant kind of starts right in here and then loops around. So this is actually, this mulch here is gonna act, this, these wood chips are gonna act as a form of protection for the marionberry. In the meantime, a lot of this is already being, um, a lot of the mycelium that we put down, I think this is our King's Trafaria mushroom patch here. This is already being propagated. That mycelium is being propagated, hopefully. Well, there's definitely some activity if you guys dig down deep enough, but uh, who knows? You know, we may not succeed with that. But the point is, is that we're getting down this mulch now, and I think it's really a great time to be doing this. If you guys have any time now that the new year has began, for some of you, it may actually be spring soon. So I would recommend just getting down some of this material. I still have to spread a lot of it out. You can see a lot of it's just in piles, randomly scattered over here throughout this section of the yard. And it's pretty, pretty wavy. It's not really spread out just yet, but I really wanted to cover this whole area underneath the apple specifically and then also in this section of the, of the yard has never really been the best soil. It's really always been pretty pathetic in this section here. Because I remember when I was a kid, I remember having to help my parents build a berm along this section of the yard to then build this, eventually build this fence. Um, so we had to put this all together so that the guy who came in and did the fence could do it. And it just saved us a bunch of money. But I remember the soil that we used was really not all that great. So the soil pretty much all along here has never really grown anything. Yet I have fruit trees here. You know, so a lot of these are quite young, but these are some pears. And we have a, a gumi cutting that I just stuck in the ground. And we have our pawpaw. We've got a honeyberry now in this little corner. We've got persimmons and josta berries and more honey berries. Um, I've got my kiwi vine here. This is a hugo culture bed that we laid down right in here with a gooseberry and some our, our more mature gumi plant here. We've put in some soon to be espaillade plums. And then we've got our rows of apples and you know, it's, it's actually come out quite nice, but I had sort of neglected this area of the yard because we sort of just planted everything in here last spring, moved everything around. And then now um, there was a ton of weeds this year and I never really came back in here and pulled any weeds. I never really put down the necessary material. We did put down some straw, but it really just wasn't enough. So what I ended up doing is I got myself some cardboard, laid down the cardboard and put all the wood chips down in here all in an attempt to hopefully kill the weeds, number one, but also number two, build up the soil in this section of the yard. And uh, I'll tell you this, we've, we are really gonna succeed with this. This is like a surefire method of building soil, killing weeds. Um, this area here is just gonna be transformed. What I uh, am trying to hopefully do is actually get comfrey and fill it in underneath these apples. I really don't like the dwarf apple trees. 
So I'm gonna give them every little ounce of help I can by feeding the soil and giving them comfrey. I, I really do believe that if you just have comfrey in the area of a plant that you really want to grow and be healthy, uh, that comfrey, man, it really helps these plants grow. It's kind of strange. I have them actually right here. They don't really look like much. You can't really tell they're there, but I have them here underneath my pawpaw trees. And the pawpaws have really taken their time rooting in, and you can see the you can see the roots, actually, believe it or not, on these trees. And it's really become quite fibrous, and over the time I've just build out the soil right here so well that I think it's really helped and along with these pawpaws really uh, loosening up the soil and digging down deep and creating channels for these pawpaws to to root themselves in um, I think it really helps so that's kind of it guys that's our little point here and we and this this section here was a is a shiitake mushroom patch I've actually two different strains of shiitake one over here and one all throughout and where i'm standing um so this should be quite a success and i, I may even get to see some shiitake next season who knows we may even get our first pawpaw flowers in year five and i hope everybody out there like i said in the beginning is enjoying their new year and I wish you guys all the best, all right? We'll see you guys soon. And here's to another year of videos from Ross. All right, guys. Cheers. We'll talk to everybody soon. Stay safe out there. Take care, guys.